Hey guys, back with video number two of NFL Pro Set 1990 Series 1. And we go with the lower left hand corner. So when I was sorting the cards, well I wasn't sorting the cards, I was just putting off to the side. Um, I was looking at, let's see, we have no Cardinals card at the bottom. I was looking at this. Oh, we have Barry Sanders right off the bat. Well, let's do this really quick and then we'll get back to that. Barry Sanders. Probably, I don't know, top three greatest running backs ever. Maybe the greatest running back next to Emmitt Smith. I mean, if he didn't have to carry the Lions on his back, I mean, who knows? He probably had so many yards that no one would have ever, ever touched him. So I'll put that right there, right away. Uh, Super Bowl 15 in New Orleans. Daryl Grant for the Redskins. Henry Ellard for the Rams. There we got Bernie Kosar for the Browns. Put in the quarterback pile. Sammy Smith, running back for the Dolphins. Bo Jackson, there you go. There are two variations of this card. There's another variation that's actually worth money, where it uh, it was with uh, the Super Bowl emblem and it was red, and then the Raiders ended up losing to the Bills. So those cards are pretty pretty rare. But we gotta put that there. Favorite. Talking about the Bills, then we got uh, Ricky Jackson murdering. Uh, I forgot his name. What's the name of the quarterback now? Now nah, it just blew my mind. Paul Gruber for the Bucks. Uh, Jim Kelly, there you go. Reggie White for the Eagles. Another great defensive end. So we put that. I don't know. We can put that. Uh, where can we put that? We gotta put that. We'll put that in there. Um, Rodney Hallman. Hallman. Uh, Pro Bowl card we put over there. Rich uh, Camarilla. We had that. Oh, okay. NFL punt leader. We had because I was gonna say we had this card before. Uh, Dwayne Bickett. Oh, and there you go. Dan Marino. Very cool. Very very cool. Dan Marino, a couple of his, his uh, records were broken again. Now it's coming the time with more and more of his records are being broken, but to imagine like his records, I mean, he played, he started playing in 1983 and his records, you know, 37 years later are now getting broken. Uh, the later ones now. Really awesome, really awesome card, Dan Marino. And we got uh, Chris Miller for the Falcons. Can't even cover now. I have to cover up Dan Marino, man, for the quarterbacks. Anyway, so this is what I want to get back to. I was looking at this, and it's like a scratch-off game. Two ways to win: you can collect points or get an instant win. So I was thinking maybe I'll make a video where I just scratch these tickets, or maybe do I just leave them how they are? I don't know. I'm thinking about just scratching them and see if I would have won anything and then cry to think that 29 and a half years ago I could have went to the Pro Bowl. Oh, I already see it on the back. That card I'm looking forward to. Eddie Murray for the Lions. And then we got Super Bowl 12. In the Super Bowl in New Orleans again, we just had here, look at that one. 15. Also New Orleans. They got a, they had a lot. Joe Gibbs for the Redskins. Kevin Green, linebacker. Where did he play? He played. Didn't he actually? Didn't he play? Eventually played for the for the Packers or for the uh, Dolphins? I think. Can't remember. Roger Craig. Really cool Heisman Trophy stance. Very nice. He's pretty. You know, he only had forty nine touchdowns since nineteen eighty three. Not bad. Vincent Brown. For the Patriots. Jeff Bryan for the Seahawks. Frank Warren for the Saints. John Alt for the Chiefs. Tim Worley, running back for the Steelers. Webster Slaughter, wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. We got the Pro Bowl cards there. Chris Dolman, NFL sack leader for the Vikings. And how many do you have? Does it say? 
doesn't, I don't know, I can't see anything. Fell just short of league record 22 by former defensive end. Oh yeah, so yeah, 21. Not bad, not bad. Ron Stark. Marion Butts, we saw him in the other card. And there we go, Neon Dion Sanders for the Falcons. Very cool. One year short of his rookie year. 89, I think, was his rookie year. <clears throat> so we put Neon Dion. We put him there with Bo Jackson. No, that was my favorite pile. Huh. Uh, whatever, we put him we'll put with, with the other Sanders. With Barry Sanders. Now oh, we're starting with the Cardinal cards again. Then we get that. Benny Blades. Sounds like he could be a professional wrestler. Super Bowl 20. I actually really like those cards. Kevin Butler. Kicker for the Bears. Is he celebrating? I don't know. Fred Strickland for the Rams. Uh, Reggie Langhorn for the Browns. These cards are really, some of them are really roughed up. Hartley Dykes. Wide receiver for the Patriots. What a name. Eugene Robinson for the Seahawks. Vaughn Johnson for the Saints. John Alt again, we just had. David Little, linebacker for the Steelers. David Treadwell, kicker for the Broncos. Pro Bowl. Jim Mora, coach in the Saints. Uh, Clarence Verdon for the Colts. Gary Plummer for the Chargers. And Vi Shikahema for the Cards. He is from Tonga. Cool. So, I mean, we got, we got quite a couple parks, packs left. <laughs> Not much going on this weekend. No, no Bundesliga to watch here in Germany, the soccer league. Eugene Lockhart, which is kind of boring, but the weather is amazing. I should actually be outside. Super Bowl 14. Those would be really cool to have as posters. Brian Saccia for the Dolphins. Greg Bell for the Rams. Pete Hollihan for the Rams. Tight end. Robert Humphrey for the Broncos. John L. Williams for the Seahawks. Jeff Lagman for the Jets. Steve DeBerg for the Chiefs. There was something about him. I can't remember. I read something about him. Either way, he, he was already 11 years into his career. He threw eight touchdowns and 22 interceptions in his rookie year. Ouch. He had uh, reasonably more interceptions than touchdowns. Put him in the quarterback pile. Greg Lloyd for the Steelers. Um, Carl Mecl Mecklenburg, linebacker Broncos, Parobo. That would be pretty cool looking with the autograph. Sterling Sharp. NFL Receive Leader. That's a really awesome card. Jumping in the air. Really cool. Morrow Hodge running back for the Steelers. Billy Ray Smith for the Chargers. And Eric Sievers, tight end for the Patriots. With a really bad ding in the corner. So, we have one, two, three, four, five packs to go. Still haven't pulled, at least noticed anything. There is the Lombardi hologram card that is pretty much, I don't know. It's overly produced, these cards are, and there's only supposedly 10,000 of them numbered. Doubt we'll get one of those. Michael Coffer for the Lions. Super Bowl seven. That's a pretty cool looking one. Uh, Gerald Riggs for the Redskins. Whoops. John Robinson Rams, coach. Irv Panky for the Rams. Old school looking dude. Two hundred ninety five pounds. Big dude. Uh, Bobby Humphrey. I think we had him earlier. Uh, Chuck Knox. Seahawks coach? That's a really generic looking head. 
Looks like it would be some kind of fake hat you would get these days. Kyle Clifton for the Jets. Tom Rathman running back. Man, he looks huge. He looks like a fullback. What a giant. 232 pounds, man. Didn't score that many touchdowns, though. Crazy. Keith Willis for the Steelers. Ron Morse for the Bears. NFL scoring leader, touchdowns, Dalton Hilliard for the Saints. Chris Carter for the Eagles. The Eagles? I don't even remember him playing for the Eagles. Really, he was drafted by the Eagles. So, was, of course, you remember Chris Carter, the best playing for the Vikings. You can put that down there. Burt Grossman for the Chargers. And Eddie Brown for the Bengals. And I was just lost for words because of that. the card is so off cut that almost the logo is almost, it almost cut the logo off. So yeah, always looking for the for the crazy cards. That's why I like. That's why I got. I even got more NFL hoops just so you guys know because I just love their wild cards. Though I have to say the last the '89 hoops were some of the worst box, probably the worst box of basketball cards I ever ripped. Richard Johnson for the Lions. Super Bowl two. Very cool looking. Uh, Gary Clark for the Redskins. Clay Matthews. For the Browns linebacker, of course, his son. Very successful. Does his son even still play? I think he still plays, doesn't he? Herschel Walker for the Vikings. Isn't this the insane trade where they traded? Yeah, this is this is uh, one year after they traded Herschel Walker for like the entire draft, and which pretty much built the. Uh, the Cowboys into the to the team of the '90s, really, really crazy. We'll put them there in front of because it actually ruined <laughs> a team and made a team. Andre Waters for the Eagles, Norm Johnson for the Seahawks, Al Toon for the Jets. That's a funny name. Uh, Nick Lowry for the Chiefs, Chuck Knoll. For the Steelers, and then I think didn't Bill Part not Bill Part. Ah, oh, what's his name? Bill Cowher came after him. I'm pretty sure. Not too much later. Ozzie Newsome, tight end for the Browns. Man, he played forever for the Browns. Um, Keith Millard, he was Defensive Player of the Year for the Vikings. Um, Dante Hillard, we already had it. What was his Pro Bowl card? Michael Irvin for the Cowboys. Very cool. This is his third year in the league. Really nice. Put that over there. And Bruce Smith, Pro Bowl. I notice now that I only pulled like one Raider card. So I'm having fun with these. These videos are going to be super long though. But like I said, I like the nostalgia. I like talking about the cards. Wayne Fontes, Lions coach. Super Bowl six. I mean, these posters, these will be such awesome looking posters. They look really cool looking. I really, really dig that. Reminds me of the uh, Hoops hand-drawn cards, I think, that I did in the other box. I just, they look really nice. Um, Jim Lackey. For the Washington football team. Uh... Chunch Ilkin for the Steelers. What a name. Jerry Burns. I actually think the uh, Don Shula coach, to be honest, I think actually calling him the Washington football team reminds me a lot of uh, soccer or football here in, in Europe. Or maybe if anybody watches the MLS, it's like, it's a Washington football team. I don't know. I find, I think it sounds, uh, it's, for me, it sounds okay. Brian Millard. Um, yeah, so actually, I don't know if we really need to... I don't see a problem with just calling the Washington football team for, for all I care. I mean, uh, the team we have here, I have here SV Dom, Sportverein or Sport Club Darmstadt. Yeah? 
So I don't, I don't really, that doesn't really bother me. I think it's so cool that, actually okay that they're called. They can maybe put the date, I mean, they, what is it, the, the Washington team, they've been around since what, the, the 20s or something like that? Come like, whatever, 1921 Washington football team, like here, uh, uh, Sport Club Darmstadt, uh, 1898. Freeman McNeil, Bill Mass, Colonel Lake for the Steelers, Steve Farrell for the Patriots, uh, Lindy was coach of the year in Fonte. Didn't know that. Ronnie Lott for the 49ers. We'll put him over here. Of course, I remember his later years with the Raiders. Dan Henning and uh, Harry Galbraith. Had a problem with that one. Yeah, so stay the Washington football team. That's cool. I don't mind it. And everyone else should get over it. Stop being babies. Gary Ball. Super Bowl 18. Neil Smith for the Chiefs. Oh, we have the Pro Bowl. We're at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu, Hawaii. In the middle of nowhere. Man, that must have been crazy to build a stadium like that and then on an island. Vince Newsom for the Rams. Mark Robinson for the Bucks. Joe Nash murdering a Raider player again. What's with the Raider players getting murdered? Then we got a quarterback, Ken O'Brien for the Jets. It wasn't too bad for uh, his uh, third and fourth year, especially his third year, 25 and 8. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Michael Walter for the 49ers. Lewis Lips. Lewis lips, loose lips, Lewis lips. This, that was parents. Your parents were mean if they did that on purpose. Ron Holmes, uh, Walter Stanley, punt return leader. I guess you only see that. No one punts. You can't really punt return anymore in these days, which is boring for the game and good for the players. Ken Norton for the Cowboys. Venice, uh, Venice Glenn for the uh, Chargers, and Lewis Oliver for the Dolphins. And the very last pack, wow, this is gonna be, actually in the end of the it's gonna be all together, probably an hour and 20 minutes, that's pretty wild. Jay Hillenberg for the Bears, Super Bowl X in Miami. Now we're going back to the, uh, oops, what was this there? That's, uh, I don't know, that one looks kind of lame, I guess. Not because, I don't know, it just, not, I found it's the most boring one of all. Don Mosbar, we already had. Farrell Edmonds, Pro Bowl. Randall McDaniel, when, with the cool mask on. Keith Murphy. Uh, David Wyman. Pat uh, Lay for the uh, Jets. Charles Haley for the 49ers. Gary Anderson, man, he played. he also played for the Saints later on, I think. He was also there forever and a day, I think. Don Griffin, 49ers. Franco Harris, Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe Boggle for the cards. Billy Joe Tolliver. Oh, man, I haven't heard that name in a long time. So after the year before. Quarterback. And Lewis Sharp. For the Cardinals is the last card. So yeah, um, nothing yet. We did pull, I think, some cool cards. I think this one was actually stacked was probably a little bit better. We got the Bo Jackson. And we got some quarterbacks. First we got uh, Dan Marino. That's a big deal, I think. Uh, what else do we got? We got a bunch of Pro Bowl cards, like always, because there's like two in every pack, at least. What else we got? We got some more Hall of Fam future Hall of Famers. We got Neon Dion, and we got Barry Sanders. Really cool. I like those cards. Of course, the Hall of Famers and the League Leaders cards in gold. I think in the second series, that's where you get the Emmett Smith, because uh, he was the rushing leader card, so that was uh, pretty nice. Of course, the cool-looking... Super Bowl cards, which I actually like a lot. 
And then we got some more. What else we got here in the pile? We got Ronnie Lott, Michael Irvin, Herschel Walker, Chris Carter, and uh, Reggie White. So that's it for uh, video number two. And until then, uh, take it easy and see you soon.